number two seed. You can see in the top half, we, of course, watch Tai Su Ying. We know now that Sung Ji Hyung will be her opponent tomorrow, having put out Sin and Awol. So, Rachino Kintanon, the former world champion, 2013, she won her title. So, all world titles since 2013 won by the two players on court. We don't, of course, have world championships in Olympic years. So there was no world championships last year. No, Carolina Marin won gold at the World Championships in Copenhagen in 2014 and then retained her title in 2015 in Jakarta. Rachanuk Intanon, well, she became the youngest ever world champion in the women's singles at 18 years, six months and three days. And she's now 22 years of age, she only turned 22 last month. And she was beaten finalist here four years ago, lost to Tina Bowne in the final, and that was Tina Bowne's third All England title and her last ever tournament. So she is up one place in the world ranking to number seven this week. She has been world number one. And her first round was against the left-hander Sayaka Sato of Japan and then Suya Ching of Chinese Taipei yesterday. Both of those matches pretty comfortable and we enjoyed watching her against Su Ching yesterday and we were very interested to see whether she was back to full fitness after the knee trouble that she's had. She looked to be moving pretty well but I think it will be a, a sterner test today against the left-handed Carolina Marin. 23 years of age, born in Huelva, but now lives in Madrid. Semi-finalist last year, having won the previous year here at New England. And she had a huge battle yesterday against another left-hander, He Bing Jiao of China, dropped the opening game to 15 was 13-17 down in that second game before eventually winning it to 19 and then was very convincing in the deciding game won that to 10 21 10. well this will be the sixth meeting between these two players and of the previous five Rachino Kintanon has won four of them but the last time they met it was the left-handed Carolina Marin who won and that was at the quarter-final stage of last year's All England. So a repeat at quarter-final stage. Our mixed doubles was a repeat of last year's quarter-final as well, wasn't it? David Schwerin of Austria, our umpire for this one. Heidi Marot of Denmark, our service judge. She had a most incredible run last year, did Rachel Kinton, on three Super Series titles in three weeks. Never been achieved before in either men's or women's Super Series history. And then she won the India, Malaysia and Singapore. Three titles in three weeks, and after that, she went to world number one. Just two weeks as world number one. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Rachel Kinton. Thailand. And on my left, Carolina Marin, Spain. Rachanok Intanon to serve. Lavo played. Well, it's fascinating, isn't it, Steve, when you compare the stats and you have a former world champion against a current world champion, a former world number one, two, both former world number ones. That's wide, and both players who have been struggling with niggling injuries of late. Yeah. Um, Carolina Marin uh, withdrew from the final in, in Germany uh, last week. 
due to a, a hip injury and uh, I've just been in contact with the uh, assistant coach in Spain who is uh, Anas Thompson, um, Danish coach and um, asked him how the situation was on, on the injury and uh, such but um, she's getting uh, extensive uh, treatment on it and um, they just hope that uh, it will uh, hold up through this tournament but they they can't really say so it could actually uh, um, sort of uh, reoccur any at any time um, I asked him how, how the form was um, and he said that uh, physically it's very close to Olympic level even though uh, from a playing perspective he, she's probably only reached 70 or 80 percent of her level in, uh, in Rio Anna's on the left there. Yeah. Fernando Rivas in the red shirt. Yeah, and we talked about in the um, in the early match with um, PB Sindhu, uh, who lost against Tyson Young. We discussed the importance of the first four rallies, and he's actually doing a PhD. Uh, in uh, sort of um, the importance of the first four rallies and their effect on the outcome of the rally. Wow. Three, no, he's a highly two. intelligent man, Fernando Rivas. Speaks about five different languages, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. So, Steve, what, what exactly is the injury concern with Marin? Yeah, uh, I, I don't really know, actually, uh, so because there know. was some injury um, Three, we were discussing around the Super four. Series finals, which was, um, it was also the hip, so maybe it's the same injury. Yeah. Um, and the thing is that they're not really sure what's causing it. So that's that's difficult Four, when it's three. And you don't know the reason. Then it's it's really really um, a hit and miss whether you reduce practice because you might reduce some of the things that are not really hurting you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, she was quick in that rally. Quick movement, wasn't she? Yeah. I also noticed um, with the uh, internet when we saw her here before the match that uh, she had a quite heavy strapping on her right shoulder. Yes, I and, noticed uh, that too. The thing is that yesterday we saw her play um, against Tsu Ya Ching and I don't think we could actually um, judge how well she was playing uh, or whether she was um, totally match fit because um, it was an easy match. So here she's. Um, being put under a bit more pressure um, pace wise. Interesting to see if she can keep up with that. I'm, I'm not sure she can. We saw her recovery after that smash, which was uh, an offensive shot Six, from her side. Three. I wasn't that impressed with uh, how quickly she was ready for moving in another direction. Well, I think the early signs, Steen, are that Rachinuk is really struggling to deal with the pace of the rallies yes. being played by yeah, exactly. the left-hander. Oh, what a nice, complete miss hit. So it's over. Four, seven.
serves over. Eight, four. Over. I guess that's what Eight. we must expect if, if we uh, if we're right in our assumption that both players are a little bit off their game uh, Ratchinak a little bit on the physical side and and Carolina perhaps a little bit on the uh, um, on the touch and um, the uh, match practice even though she reached the final in Germany we should expect Errors creeping in in the, in the rallies because uh, both players try to sort of get the upper hand. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Seven, eight. And I think I think Ratchanuk Intanon she should um, she should employ some of the tactics from uh, the mixed doubles that we saw earlier on that Jeffrey told the, uh, the English pair that um, be a little bit patient, make sure that you you don't outplay yourself. And I think actually um, Ratchanuk could play a little bit more uh, patient playing style here. This is really good. Yeah. And, and there will be rallies like this from Carolina, but for, for Interman it's about surviving Nine, long enough seven. to sort of um, yes. provoke an error or induce an error because you force Carolina Marin to make too many high quality shots. Just wide. Oh, there's a challenge hit. Well, I thought it was just wide. Challenges called out. <laughs> How did she challenge, challenge that? If it was that far out, how did she challenge that? But, but we've seen Ratchana uh, sort remaining. of use up all her challenges. That was when there only was two challenges Service in over. a match. Ten. And she'd Seven. used them before they reached the score of nine in the first game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Look at the strapping on the shoulder there. Uh, taking away the initiative Ten. from uh, Marin. Breaks that clear there and puts it down below the tape. It's impossible to really threaten Intanon on the next shot there for Marin. That is very, very quick. And a three-point advantage for the world and Olympic champion. Here at the mid-game interval. Well, it was extraordinary. I was looking at the record books this morning, Steen, and Carolina Marin, before she won 
this All England title in 2015. She had three first round losses. She never got past the first round and then won the All England, and that was her first Super Series title when she was already yeah, world champion. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, that year, 2015, she actually she won six or something like she that. She won five, five Super Series titles, but none last year. No. Well, I no, think it's the same as Chen Long, who also yeah. won the Olympic gold. He didn't yeah. win a Super Series well, last year either. Hey. Yeah. So that just shows how much emphasis the players are putting on the Olympics. Because we also saw the mixed doubles that um, just lost before this match. Ahmad and Nasir, they also played a, a not so good year in terms of Super Series uh, tournaments, but was absolutely dominant, the most dominant category of the Olympics. Yeah. I think they won all their matches in, in straight games. 13, yeah. So, um, in the Olympic year, there's a lot of focus on the Olympics. Oh, she did miss it. She did miss it. Challenge. Oh, yeah, she's challenged. Oh, yeah, challenges called yeah, out. I actually think she was hesitating a little bit, looking out at the coaches. Very hard to uh, judge for the linesman, a, a, a sliding shot like that. Yeah. Is uh, flying a long distance just over the court. Yeah, it's in. Good challenge. Yeah. Correction in. It's too late to say it was my initial thought, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll forgive 40, you that. You, you did say eight. she almost missed it. Yeah. Yeah, you were right. Play. Yeah, I think the case about Marin and, and the Super Series and the World Championships was that she was actually doing quite well on the European level, but she was new to Super Series level and had to adjust her game. There were some skills that she had to learn in order to do well in Super Series. And one of them was especially playing um, in windy conditions. Nine, 14. Yes, because much bigger stadiums. Yeah for the Super Series events. So you could say that for badminton, the uh, amount of drift in the stadium sort of relate to different surfaces in tennis, whether you play on clay grass or, or hard court. Some players have um, the ability to play on so all surfaces, while some others are more uh, specialised in, in one of the three surfaces, and that's exactly the same in, in badminton. But instead of obviously the surface, the windy conditions is, yeah. That's the that's the uh, sort of um, the difference. The difference, yeah. Um, it's a pity that um, the big men's singles medalist Chen Long is. Um, Knocked out of the tournament. I had some stats on his uh, performance, his tournament performance. That um, the tournament where he does best in is in Denmark Open, where he's 90% in winning his matches. And Denmark Open, there's almost no wind at all. He's shooting his um, his very accurate playing style. Yeah. And the one where he does the worst, it's Indonesia. It's very very windy. That's very interesting. Only 60% wins in um, Indonesia Open. Ah! Yeah, that was halfway down the net. And that's the 70-80% uh, that um, assistant coach Thomas Thompson was talking about. That, uh, the uh, shot execution is um, not as high as... Um, Wants it to be Marin. Oh, it 
was going out. Oh, and there was a twisted ankle. Oh. There was a twisted ankle there. Left ankle of Carolina Marin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I think maybe it was that she was slipping forwards. That was the injury she had in both World Championships. Or where was it? Was it, 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 was, it was in the forehand side before yeah, that one. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Or was it when she changed direction? I, I thought she was taking one that was outside the court on her forehand at the net. Where she was slipping. And she slipped, and I, I think, think her, her ankle turned there. I remember both World Championships, she was injured a little bit in the first or second round where she, her, her left foot sort of slipped forward and, and got the uh, heel cap yeah. up in pushing the Achilles, and that's perhaps why she, she was struggling with injury a lot after the first World Championship uh, gold medal in Denmark. Oh, no, just two points in it. 13, 15. Here we, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Twist a little bit, but that's not the real problem. It's the slip forward. Yeah. Too much power 16. staying in balance. Badminton. And a great kill by Rachel. 15, 16. That's one of the uh, areas where we earlier on suggested that she might um, be able to improve the ability to finish the rallies off from the front court. This was excellent execution. Crisp, isn't it? 16. It's four. almost like a, a rebound with her racket action. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't follow all the way through. It's no, just. No, not at all. Yeah. The elbow stays the same yeah. high spot, and it's only done with a flick of the forearm. It's a bad level. It's a drift at one stage. Oh, good night exchange.
brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Finds the sideline. 17, 16. Wipe the court, please. Yeah, right on the line. And she's coping much better with the pace. Um, internet than I would have thought. Read by Intern that 16. the shot from Marina is way too high. That backhand shot there. Line of the last 10 points. Line 15 to 18 16. Missed it. Missed it. Serves over. Seventeen, yeah, eighteen. She's played cleverly, into none. I mean, perhaps you're not one hundred percent, but then you have to get all the percentages yet that you have. You have to get them into play. Oh my goodness me! Service over. Service error. Seventeen. now but more importantly three game point opportunities Crikey, that's the longest rally of the match without any doubt 42 shots She's a great fighter on court, is this yeah. young lady. 19, Look at that commitment. Two game points well saved. Another one remains though for Rachinak. Yeah, she's got to go all out to win this game, Rachinak. Oh, oh, I was going out. Time to play a tight spinning neck shot that gets the net caught. 20 all. 
And she's lost all three rallies after that long, long, grueling rally, uh, Rachna Ginthanen. 20 or extra points required until the clear two-point winning margin. there to get that back Seven's across. 21-20. So a fourth game point opportunity now. Oh, the number five seed. Well played. Yeah. 22-20, the scoreline. What an excellent opening game. 26 minutes. Oh, Babington of the very highest quality. ตามไล่แจกแล้วก็ใช่ใช่ถ้าถ้าถ้าเจ๋อเจ๋อเมื่อไหร่เบนจะได้เบียร์ทันทีแล้วนะมันแต่มันจะพยายามแบบให้หน
going wide. Regarding the stamina issue, Jill, uh, since Singapore Open, the last uh, of the three Super Series victories that uh, Rajnak had in a row, she's, um, she's only played three three-game matches, and she's only won one of them against uh, Linda Sachiri of uh, Bulgaria. Otherwise, she's either won or lost in two three. games. Wow, that so we're a, little, we're a little bit in the dark as to where she stands. Should this go to uh, a deciding game? Yeah. her own luck in my opinion Steen with people may think that hitting the top of the tape that many times with the net shots but I think she creates her own luck because she's taking the shuttle early and yeah. she practices to be able to do that that was the amazing thing about the Olympics that she played so fast and, and um, doing that often sort of takes your timing off when it comes to the net with a lot of uh, pace in the body and the legs and so on, but she was still able to play with accuracy. medal in Rio last year was one of seven gold medals for Spain, for Spain yeah. yeah across five different sports and I yeah. thought was interesting <laughs> oh, that's nice. so it's over I actually thought that Spain normally would win more Five. gold medals, but I think oh. perhaps they had their heydays after 92 in Barcelona and the eight, ten years after that. Yeah. Of course, a tendency that uh, the home nation, host nation, uh, invest quite a lot in, in doing well in their own Olympics. Sometimes you get in... Six, five. Early results in four years earlier than expected, and sometimes it um, benefits you a little bit longer. that Rachina should play, in my opinion. Um, not risking too much herself and, and see if... Um, if Carolina makes the uh, errors. Oh, that's super. So it's over. Six. Seven. Wipe the well, of course, the Rio Olympics 
I'm sure Ratchin will remember as well because she was the flag bearer in the opening ceremony. A very special honour. Only athlete chosen to do that. sort of errors that she can't afford to make. She's, she's got to keep the error rate in her own game down, um, slow a little bit down on the uh, deceptions and, and the tricky shots. <laughs> she is playing hey. a good net game right now, Seven. Marin. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Look at that again. In fact, Caroline Marin talking to her coach and I think indicating that perhaps she shouldn't have played it. Oh, it's a little bit different on, uh, on these pictures here because I actually think it would have stayed in. It's gone on. That incident. There's some kind of scream there. Yes, in fact, I. She's inherited it. Yes. Well, she she actually was quoted as saying, "Well, uh, because Marin does it and she's world and Olympic champion, then I think I should do it too." <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not sure I agree on that strategy. I think you should do no. what you're comfortable with no, yourself. Yeah, Just try exactly. to be the one you are, and because everybody else is taken already. Mm. She was uh, always the polite one, thanking yes. the uh, service judges for um, changing the shuttles, um, sort of nodding to the line judges, being very, very polite, very, very uh, likable. Yes, and Eleven, nine, the screen is, doesn't seem to coincide with that politeness. No, especially not if it's sort of... Um, uh, an attempt remember to yes um, exactly then, 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 no me mires con cara de qué está pasando está pasando que haces lo mismo desde que has empezado el partido como haces lo mismo te lo defiendo no puede ser el aire va para allá además te empeñas en hacer tío sabes que esta pista va a tener que correr ah oh my oh my oh my oh my Actually, uh, Marin was practicing um, a couple of weeks in Thailand ahead of her uh, first World Championship title in, uh, in 14 in Denmark. So I guess they know each other quite well. 11, 9. Play. Oh, 
incredible defence initially from Ratchanuk in tonight. Nine. One, two, three. A slice on that, which meant to throw the rapid head came Don't through you. really quickly. Yeah. It wasn't that powerful. And that means that the defensive player have to judge the correct speed herself. How much does it take to get it close over the net? Shots to the backhand side of uh, Ratchin Aginson are not afraid to uh, run the long distance on the uh, diagonal from her own forehand side. Right? Yeah, good umpire. Ratchnog should just let this game um, go and, and not try to make too much effort to get back in it the way I see it. Save the energy for the signing game. Unless, of course, she can get some easy points. Yeah. Ten, well, that was nine 17. straight points. Oh, Carolina Madden. Wow. Yes. Eight, nine, down. This is what we feared a little bit for for Intenum, that she was not with able to withstand the uh, with able not able to withstand the pressure yeah. coming from um, the opposite side. 
Yeah, Marin gets a little bit of help by the drift. That's a great shot. That's fantastic. Challenges. Switches uh, the legs around. Fantastic opportunities to hit all over the court. Well, she'll lose that right. challenge, I'm pretty certain. That looked uh -huh. into me. That's a cup of tea, Jill. Oh. Yeah. That's a wasted cup of tea. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. Oh. One challenge remaining. 19. They are my eagle eye. Yeah, yeah. But matches a Hawkeye. And you're even in a little bit worse position than I am because <laughs> I'm sitting more over the line. <laughs> Oh, that's wide. Yeah. But she was successful with that in, in the first game. Uh, playing some, um, some clever net shots, a little bit of trickery on the front court. So, 10 game point opportunities. No. So it's over. 11. Defiance. Nice. We can see as soon as she got time. Twenty. Right, you know, she produces great shots. push but from above net height from second Carolina Mary and she closes 21, out this second game 13. it's one game one a piece more. 48 minutes into the match and it's one game all Si viene cada vez que hago barrillo ya me cruza siempre y estoy corriendo todas las diagonales. Pero no es, si es fuerte el barrido no, es, no, no, no va muy cerca, ¿vale? Se puede seguir haciendo. Lo que hay que evitar son los, 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 los clías sobre todo, porque vienen muy picados los volantes, ¿eh? Con el hop de tibet, tibet, no hay que hacer nada. Con el tibet, 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 เอาตีก่อนดูสิเอาขี้ถูกหรือเขาเขาง่ายเหรอมาตัวมันง่ายเหรอนะอย่าไปชวนเขาแค่นี้นะเขาจิ้มมาปุ๊บวันจิ้ม
Which is liable to go over the 20 seconds remaining that was called some time ago. Yes, that perhaps really should have been put on during the two-minute timeout. Yes. Definitely. But on the other hand, she might have played one rally and then asked for um, the referee again. and the um, um, doctor to come on court and then put it uh -oh. on there. So I still feel that we need some more... Play. Um, uh, what can you say? Tighter guidance. Tighter guidance, yeah, that's the right word on how to proceed with, um, with injuries. injuries and mm. <laughs> oh, goodness me, there's another big call. Well, that cannot well. be just luck. Oh. It's practice skill. Sharp in that the backhand side, the uh, Marin in the front court. <laughs> She's got to put a stop to this uh, internet because if Marin runs away with a four or five point lead, then it suddenly becomes very, very difficult for yeah. the tie player. So similar concerns that I had in the second game, as far as Ratchnock is concerned. Yeah. Got to keep it tight in these early stages. Great control. Time is over. One, two. Smashes. Then she has the uh, chance to attack into them. Yeah. I'm very inter interested to see the next two or three rallies if uh, Internet can bounce back. Three. Testing the uh, stamina issue.
It's funny, we never have these discussions with Marine because everybody seems to agree that she's in the greatest physical shape of yes. all the players. Yeah. Fisio, Anas Thompson, the Danish assistant coach, has left the chair, and um, I don't exactly know him, but I'm almost certain that that's the Fisio. Yes, nice angle cross court there from Ratchnup, and that really is very concerning. Then there he is. to the backcourt, uh, Carolina Marin, she's playing way too short. support she was putting on uh, Marin. Uh, she is a little bit um, leading towards um, a quick decision on the rallies so that she doesn't want to play long rallies either. Yeah. She was too short again. Just about to say well played because Nine, she sort of six. invited Marin to play that forehand side and then waited for it to get too short. And everything was totally in place. There it is. Just needed to kill that. And it's extraordinary. There's a bigger swing on that neck kill than there is on some of the smashes from the back. Yeah. And you were saying earlier during one of the doubles, I think it was, that nearer you are to the net, the shorter the swing of the racket should be. Yeah. Well, a 
again, it was short, wasn't it? The clear. It was short, especially to the forehand side. Six. It was short. Mm. And I think Intanon should take every opportunity there to put it below the tape. She did, but uh, overdid it. And now we have this four point lead for Maroon. And uh, that's a little bit worrying for the girl in the picture here. Straight points. Oh, Nina Marin has a five point advantage at the change bends in this deciding game. As the match clock tips over the hour mark. Importante ahora, claro. Me lleva para allá. Tenemos que bajar más volante. Muchas veces está ya como como loca para arriba para abajo tranquila, vale, que intenta controlar. Cuando veas que el volante ya está un poquito, puede bajar con medio. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de control. Puede intentar que se haga un poco más de Eleven, six. On the court, yeah. Steen, is it coming from uh, right to left? Yep. Yeah. Okay. and then hope for a good start here after change of ends in the third game. Behind the shuttle from her deep forehand corner. Oh, my goodness, what a steep, 12, sharp angle across eight. court. Yeah, and it was like the shot selection from Intenon sort of uh, induced pace into Marine, and suddenly all the technical stuff was um, executed to perfection when she reached the uh, a little bit higher tempo or a bit higher pace than we've seen. coaching staff about the the black dots that we've seen on her hands and arms before no uh, little again, magnets or something for yeah, circulation probably, or probably or some yeah um, there was some some players had a necklace on uh, a couple of years ago that they were wearing a special necklace and so, on, so mm. I don't know exactly what, um, what the black dots are so it's over. Nine, 13. Get ready, get ready. 
forehand to forehand the whole of that rally. Disappointment. Yeah, because she, she's almost getting there. She's almost um, equaling the score and, and sort of closing the gap, but um, just a little bit short. Mm. She's opened up a nice little cushion again, hasn't she? Five points. one winner to me now in this quarter-final match. Uh, I think if um, Hintanan is to come back here, she needs to win a couple of points or five in a row now. Yeah. Also because Carolina is not known for letting leads like this um, slip away. No, she's a great front runner, isn't she? If she wins it, then we get that final from German Open in the semi-final tomorrow against yes. uh, Yamaguchi. Yeah, so came through a match against Sun Yu that lasted very nearly an hour and a half. So it's over. 18-11. now or never isn't it those run of points are required right now by the lady from Thailand yeah. and there's some very distinct instruction coming from the Spanish coach Fernando Rivas from his arm movements it's something about hitting downwards Going to be spoken Carolina. to Carolina. 
because she's yelled again before the call was made. And you're right, Steve, that was in. ever since I said I could only see one winner. <laughs> I've thought back to that uh, World Championship final where Ratchanuk won because she was 12-19 down in the first game and actually ended up winning it. Yeah. You could have win your cup of tea back, Steen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good right. judgment. Good Challenge. judgment. Carolina Lyon well, challenges. Yeah. Oh. Logical right. with the challenge, just to break the rhythm. And a chance to get advice from coach as well. Exactly. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised it Challenge was unsuccessful. That One far out. Out. 15, 18. It's going to be a battle for the attack, I think, because Interna has been successful in attacking the last couple of rallies. I don't think Calvino will let her do that. Fantastic. That's fantastic play. That's oh, amazing, Badminton. Look at the defence. She was under so much pressure. And then turns it around with the cross-court drop and follows up with a cross-court net shot. So now just two points in it. My goodness me. Play. Straight points. I, I really don't like that. I mean, either let them play because now the umpire is delaying the game. Either let them play or give a warning. Yeah. Don't give a, a, a verbal warning. Give a yellow card. Yellow card, yes. This is why we love sport because it is so unpredictable. I'd all but written her off. It's now just one point in it. And this is a bit of an unusual situation for Marin to be in. It's 18 or 18 all.
I don't believe it. Eight straight points now. And Orachan Okintanon eases into the lead at this crucial, crucial moment of the deciding game. And Fernando Rivas is standing up from his chair. Trying to give advice to Marin. deciding game in an hour and 17 minutes of simply wonderful badminton. What on earth must be going through the mind of the Olympic champion right now? Ten straight points from her opponent to reverse the result of the quarter-final last year between these two players. My goodness me, that's the match of the tournament so far. 